Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Mech Druid. I'm at rank 9 now, so let's keep going here and get to rank 8. Our first opponent is a hunter. Hmm. Still facing a lot of hunters. I always am. I don't think I can remember a season in the last year where there has not been a healthy amount of hunters. If you consider a lot of them to be healthy. So let's start with our wild growth here and see if we can get... I guess what we really want is a 4 drop. Well, lots of ramp and we're going first so we need to be a little careful here. Ah, interesting. Right, so then we could potentially play... Pilot the Sky Golem on turn 3. Like if you wild growth turn... The problem is that that's really weak against Freezing Trap. But uh, let's play a wild growth for now. And uh, then we'll see what happens next turn. Yeah, it's just it's a little scary against a hunter. I think if I get like a uh, harvest golem or something, I would rather just play Nick Wolf or Harvest Golem. Not really. I'm so excited about this. Because uh, it's just. Make more by itself. I mean, that's so weak here, yeah, right? Force of nature, that's like not gonna cut it. I think I'm gonna end up doing this. And then if he plays a trap here, I think I might not attack next turn. And then go for Force of Nature next turn to trigger the Freezing Trap with. Because like, if you place a trap here, it gotta be Freezing Trap, right? I hope he doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Now we just gotta hope we get a good minion. And also, hope that we draw something really decent to play here. Okay, as a Drake, that is certainly quite alright. Let's just play this one first. And... Uh, uh. Oh, okay. I like this. And also it's fitting with the theme and everything. Alright, good start. I can always use these for healing if I if you, I get a bit too scared of him rushing us down. I mean we have a pretty good board presence. So don't have to worry too much about that, I think. Oh, I see. Yeah, going for the face, wow. That's true hunter style. I would like... Hmm. I mean, maybe here we should just clear the board with Force of Nature and then go for the face with these two. Uh, what else can we do? Um... Yeah, I honestly, I think I kind of like that. Let's just do this. And, uh... Because that way I also get some damage and take him down to 22, which I'm quite happy with. If I had used like hero power and two minions to take out that, he would still be at 30 life. Of course, then I would have like four minions on the board, but at the same time, that's a little weaker against uh, Unleash. So I think I like this. And then next turn, I think I might heal with an Ancient of Law because we just need to stay safe here and then we can punish him. Of course, it depends on what he does. Alright. Yep, going straight for the face. So I think healing is uh, the way to go here. We'll probably just heal the two turns in a row, unless of course we get lethal beforehand. And then uh, clear the board as much as we can. We're not even that far off lethal here. That's like... 6 to 10, 14. Not quite there though. So let's just heal. And uh, I'll kill that with this one. Because this one will get down to 2 life, which is obviously weak against uh, Explosive Trap. Yeah. That heal was exactly what we needed. Otherwise, we would have risked just him uh, killing us here. Mm. 
So now we have eight. Yeah, okay. Easy, easy lethal here. We just that, 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 and then swipe to the face and clear the board at the same time. Well, that could not have gone any better. Good. And yes, we are on a win streak. Perfect. Yeah, maybe we will get to rank eight here. Let's play another game. And keep it up. Let's see. Maybe a paladin this time. Of course, it could be fun to play something else, but I'm just trying to make the realistic predictions. Oh, another hunter. And a golden hunter, so he's stuck to it for a while. Uh, we're going first. I really need a two drop. I'm gonna keep the free drop around two though. Since <laughs> what's worse than not having a two drop is not having a two drop or a free drop. So, not super excited about this. Unless we get a two drop or an innovate, because then we could innovate. No, innovate doesn't help that much. Ah, what we need is a two drop. Preferably. No, any two drop would do. Doesn't matter. Megwolver Aspirant is all good. Innovate, not so much. That's not what I want here. Yeah. Well, at least he... We, I mean... Hero power is not so bad as a response to Web Spinner, so... I suppose I will take it. And at least we do have a free drop, so... Not as good as last, uh, last game, though. Alright, so we got a Haunted Creeper. Hmm. I think I'm gonna play a spider tank versus that. Then again. Or maybe. Hmm. Does it. Okay, so if he has. Right, no, say he plays an uh, animal companion here that gets Huffer. I would much rather have Harvest Golem around, right? Let's just play this. If it's Liak, Savage Roar. I don't know. Not too happy about this. The Honey Creeper is really annoying because it's gonna get those leftover one ones that can just so easily take out the remaining Harvest Columns. So, ah, mm -hmm. <sighs> Spider Tank. Yeah, well, let's see. And our hand, uh, double force of nature. And Savage Raw, it's a little bit of a waste. Like right now we need minions or swipe or something like that. Huh. <laughs> Actually, Keep of the Grove could be pretty decent. Oh. But we're getting no such thing. Okay, this is problematic. This is really bad. Uh, Savage Raw, no, it just doesn't work. I think you just have to play a spider tank. And then end turn? Oh man. That's really bad. Okay, let's end turn. And. Um, Hope for some kind of miracle here, because it's going to be hard to catch up after this start. Yeah. And we don't even have anything that's looking very exciting for next turn. We might end up doing something like Savage Raw Hero Power, if he leaves our minions alive. Which he probably will, since, well, it's a hunter. Oh boy. No, he's actually playing a little more careful, which is not necessarily a good thing for us. Oh boy, so what do we do, what do we do? If we... Uh, 
we need to get rid of some hero power, but then it's like Savage Raw doesn't really no. We need to run that into that, which means we need to hero power. Which means that we need to play Mech Bulba. Do that. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so that's. He has 8 damage here, 19. The problem is, even as a mad scientist, he's so gonna come up with some annoying trap. Well, if you play Force of Nature here. And then maybe hope that it's like just a freezing trap, and then we get one of the trees sent back, which is not really a big deal. I just hope he doesn't play anything else scary. Ah, uh, okay. Well. I mean, we can kill these three with Force of Nature. Problem is that he will get a secret, which... We honestly, we can't really deal with it. And then it's like, sure, I could trick a Freezing Trap with Force of Nature, but that would mean that he would have another minion alive, which I can't really deal with either. So I think we simply gotta let the secret stay around. Which I'm not really happy about. At least he only has one minion left, but a hunter that has board control when you have low life and he has 30 and he has a Lion King. Um, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> just let's just get it over with. I don't really see us as winning this, but I'm still gonna keep going until the end. Yeah, you attack so fast. I thought you would have easy lethal, but you're taking a little while to uh, to execute. Oh, you don't? Oh, are you toying with me? Because you could totally play another kill command here and win. Or quick shot even. No? Okay, he did not have lethal. So now we just need to save ourselves here. And how are we gonna do that? It's impossible. It's totally impossible. Wow. Actually, we could do combo here, but the problem is that that doesn't really help at all. Well played. I don't think there's any uh, point in uh, prolonging it. Of course it had to be snakes. Alright, let's play a third game. We had an easy win and a very rough loss. Let's see what we get for our third game here. Unfortunately, again, what stings the most here before rank 5 is when you lose your winning streaks. It doesn't take so long to get rank 5 if you can just uh, get two stars every win, but with only one star, it takes a while, even with a good record. All right, there's the Paladin, of course. And... Oh, this is looking a lot more exciting than last time. So if you're going to coin into Wild Growth, that means that we will have three mana on turn two. So then what we're looking for is a four drop. I mean, this one might still be decent to keep around. Yeah, let's just keep it around. It's not bad at all. Because then we could also use another 2-drop. Yeah, okay. Or we could like play this plus hero power potentially. Like against the shielded minibot, that's not bad at all for turn 3. Oh boy. Actually not seeing as many secret keepers as I used to. Uh, it seems like a lot of paladins have taken them out of their deck. Of course, they're by no means rare. Let's uh, get our wild growth up. Hmm... Let's see, we play Spider Tank, then turn 4, we have, ah, okay, we have good options for turn 4, it looks like. Swipe, Keeper, or Donassus, plus something else. Okay, no secrets so far. 
That's something. Let's uh, play our spider tank here and hope he can't buff up the secret keeper too much. But I guess... No, actually if he does that, it's not too bad. Because then we can just run that into... Well, wait, no, because then if it's noble sacrifice, that could mess things up. Yeah, okay. Uh... Huh. Maybe I'll just silence this one. Yeah, actually... Well, I guess he might kill our spider tank. Let's see. But then he would have to run everything into it. Wow, is he really gonna do that? No, he's not. Okay. Okay, so we even got an innovate. Could silence that, run that into that. I think that's probably the best option. We don't want that one to get buffed. We could clear the board, but then we would have no minions. I kind of think I want to keep the swipe around. Let's just do this and and then we kill that. Yeah, we don't want that to get buffed. Now, we could innovate Aspirant. And we could still play Acid Drake next turn, even... I think I kind of like that. Also, just in case he has... Um... In case he has what is called... Oh. I can... You know. Refill your hand card. Right? That way... Well, it won't really be very useful for him. And I'm not scared of like running out of cards or anything since we have an acid drake coming up. Okay. That's fine. Let's play Oh Lofet. That's interesting. Uh Lofet, see the acid drake, you can just run that into that. They can run that into that. But then that leaves that at one life, which is very vulnerable to swipe a hero power. Next turn, we could do Swipe plus Hero Power, for example. Acid Drake just dies so easy. He might not have many car like minions left. He might just have a bunch of spells. So then, let's try a low fat here. Turn six is coming up. All right. Well, let's see what he does. He could run that and the weapon into Lofer, but I would be okay with that. I'm actually taking him down quite a bit, down to 18. So yeah. Okay. Ah, another one of those. Yeah, okay, well it looks like we're probably gonna end up swiping here, so we can uh, clear the board. Or is, do, is, do I want something else? Um, okay, so the problem is I can't really play anything together with my swipe. That's what's making it a little weak. Uh, he's probably... Well, there's a high chance that he's going to play the Mysterious Challenger next turn. Could run that into that, hero power that, and play the Shredder. I think that's better than swipe. Let's do this. And hope he doesn't have a challenger. But I guess even if he has a challenger, it's not like the end of the world here. Since we have a decent board. Well, let's see. And he's down to 18. Yeah. So if we could get like a combo going, we could... Maybe still 27. Consecration. <laughs> Am I happy to see that? That is one weak turn. Wow. Alright. Very nice. Hmm. Well, I think we just play Acid Drake here. I mean, it's tempting to swipe, but it's just like we did, didn't have anything to play, play together with the swipe. Let's uh, kill that guy and uh, go for the face with this one. Uh, Dr. Boom, maybe? 
If we place like the boom, we can just swipe and uh, clear the board. Still don't really have anything to play with the swipe though. Also, well, probably end up killing this one with these two, right? I mean, he's really low, so he gotta think about playing defensive. Ah, Divine Favor. Yes, that's what it's called. Okay. See, that's the weakness of playing this Secret Paladin deck. Sometimes you don't draw your Mysterious Challenger and then your hand is garbage. Alright, so... I want to trigger Noble Sacrifice first. If he has it, which he probably does. Yeah. And then Avenge? Because I think I just finished that off as well. Yeah, and then we can play the Sky Golem. Time for a change. Uh Right, okay. Time Let's do this. And Sky Golem. What are you gonna do? <laughs> There's Dr. Boom. A little late for that though. Because I think uh, I think we got this. Right, uh, let's see. That's four, eight. Uh, I think we have exact lethal, right? That's eight plus fourteen, fifteen. So if you do this and that, that's like so, and then swipe. All right, perfect. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.